tape it in gauze in here. Use whatever you want. Help yourself. I don't know how to do it, Kirk. I'm not a nurse. Why don't you take yourself to a hospital? You think they'll accept my insurance card here? I can't do it. I can't stand to look at it. It's too Gina, the bullet only grazed me. Come on, slap a bandage on it. Or you okay. can kiss it and make it all better. Get out anyway, Kirk. I heard they sent you up for life. How'd you get out? On good behavior. Sorry, I asked. Now look, this is gonna sting a little bit. Oh, I yeah. just gotta disinfect it with this first. I'm shaking. Good. Excellent. Will that be all, sir? No. I got a whole list of things I need you to do. And no more funny business. Comprende? What now, Kirk? Castillo's on my tail. Why? Hey, What'd you do? Is it for breaking out of prison, or did you do something else this time, Kirk? I was born. That's about all the excuse cruise control needs. Oh, and you expect me to believe that? No, the problem is that Castillo's got a, uh... A secret weapon. What, an IQ over 60? No, he's got this psychic. She can climb inside people's minds, Gina. She knows everything you're thinking, whether you're sleeping or awake. Kind of like Santa Claus. Yeah, but this is the truth. That's why I need you. You see, you're going to be my secret weapon until I'm up and around, huh? So how does it feel to be working on the same team again? No, Kirk. Over my dead body? You know, that could be arranged, Gina. You know, I'm, I, I'm very surprised by, by your attitude. I always thought of us as soulmates. After all, we both hated the Capwells, the Castillos. We worked so well together before. Yeah, well, blackmail has a way of ensuring my cooperation. <laughs> you loved every minute of it. <laughs> Until you went off the deep end. Up the deep end? Mm hmm What a beautifully lyric phrase, Gita. Yes. Yes, my consciousness has traveled into uncharted territories, places you've never dreamed of in your mundane existence. In a state of liberation, I can do anything that I want, especially with people who get in my way. Just act real normal. Hello? Gina, we're having a little meeting. Brandon seems to have made up his mind about his custody. We'll be over in half an hour. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Uh, can we do this some other time? I'm a little tied up right now. Well, get untied. No point putting it off. You want to know what he's decided, don't you? One way or the other. See you at 11. Did you get rid of them? and Julia and Mason. You get rid of them. I can't. I told you. This custody battle's been going on for weeks. If I turn them away, they're going to know something's wrong. They're going to be suspicious. I'll be watching you the whole time, Gina. You make one wrong move. I'll blow you to kingdom come. I hate threats. And your kid, too. Hi, sweetie. Are you okay? I'm fine. Good to see you. I, I've really missed you. Can I talk to my mom alone for a few minutes? You're calling the shots here, sport. Well, we'll go next door and round up CC and be back in a little while. Okay. So, you look kind of thin. And you've been eating enough? Oh, sure. Here, go ahead, sit down. But, but I'll bet Julia's not as good of a cook as I am. Okay. She doesn't know how to make sloppy joes the way I do, and she doesn't keep those pop schools in the refrigerator for Mom, you like I... Would you just relax so we can talk to you? What are you going to say? I know I've been through a lot in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's okay. I mean, I've been kind of pushy, but that's just the way that I am, Brad. I just need some time to think things through. And now that I have... Yeah? I'm sorry I talked back.
about you. And all those mean things I said about you not being my mother. All right. I mean, I'm not your biological mother. That's true. Well, the way I figure it, you gave me a home. You took care of me and taught me stuff. And Brandon, I loved every minute of it. So, that makes you my mother, doesn't it? I want to come home, if I can. Of course you can. Oh, God. Mom! I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm just really happy. Well, there's one little condition. What? Something I want you to do. Okay, anything. Well, it's kind of a big deal. You better listen to it first. Okay, Brandon, but can you just talk fast? Mason, Julia, Dad, I appreciate everything you've done for me. But I've decided to stay with Mom. Well, then that's exactly what will happen. I'll call Judge Kelly and tell her your decision. I live right next door, Dad. I can always come and visit you. It's all right, son. I hope you don't feel bad. I guess now that this is over with, uh, everybody has places to go, people to see. Wait a minute, Mom. You forgot to say your part. Oh, right. Um, Mason, I'll be happy to grant you the annulment. I'll sign the papers right now if you want. Well, thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Brandon. Brandon, you're a prince. Oh, for crying out loud. Please, what a please, nice, tidy you. little deal this is. There was no deal cut. You don't expect me to believe that, now, do you? We're abiding by Brandon's wishes, just as the judge specified. Now, Gina, if you'll sign this, we can close this nasty little business. Just wait from the beginning. What are you doing? You're to sign that and believe it? You are totally responsible. I hold you to it. Cece, I can assure you this is not... I better get this straightened out right wait. away. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Julia! Later, Julia. What are you doing here? I'm the East Dubai. Sorry, I'm not. Just teasing you, Brandon. <laughs> Look, you must have some things over at Mason and Julia's that you need to pack up. Why don't you go get your stuff together and, and I'll pick you up later, okay? Come on, come He's on. I'm not going on. anywhere. There's no reason for you to involve him in this. Sure there is. I need all the friends I can get, Gina. You my friend, Brandon? Somehow I doubt it. Just leave him out of it, Kirk. He's just a little boy. He can't help you. He'll only get in the way. He's your precious little baby, huh? I guess you'd do just about anything you wanted to, wouldn't you? Mmm, delicious. Hey, you want a bite? No, thanks. Put hair on your butt. Gross. Just tell me what it is you want me to do, Kirk. Yeah, there's this woman, Sandra Mills. Oh, well, I never heard of her. Oh, she knows you. She knows me. She knows all of us. She's a witch. I want you to bring her back here, all right? Should I take the broomstick? I don't care how you do it, Gina. Just do it. Well, you gotta give me something to go on, Kirk. She has curly hair, big blue eyes, and x-ray vision. I mean it. She can see right through you, Gina. She calls herself a psychic, but she's a witch. Well, does she live here in Santa Barbara, or what? You better believe it. Okay, Kirk. I'll, I'll try. I'll try to find her. But you let Brandon go. Mm -hmm. Gina, it doesn't work like that. I want to make sure you're going to come back. I'll come back, Kirk. I give you my word. <laughs> and I give you mine. She said it. Freckles and I'll be right here waiting for you. Won't we? 